We've been telling you about big challenges in East Cleveland, political fighting, police department turnover, financial struggle. But tonight, News 5's Michelle Jarbo is following through on a story about hope, a hope that new development could bring high paying jobs and more to this low income community. Change is coming to this neighborhood. I knew big plans were in place when I saw this being redone. And Dante Hilton is ready. It seemed like University Circle is creeping on our way, so just keep on coming east, baby, because this is where I'm at. Committed to East Cleveland and encouraged by what he sees during a walk down Euclid Avenue. Buildings that were dilapidated, unoccupied, now we're going to have something new and fresh. The Cuyahoga Land Bank just finished renovating this building. This was an old Buick dealership from 1949 that sat vacant for over 20 years. Now a life sciences developer called Verdant plans to buy it, filling this empty space with offices and labs. A year from now, there could be dozens of people working right here. Scientists and researchers paying income taxes in one of Ohio's poorest cities. And that's just the start of a much bigger vision. That's a, a significant deposit in, in terms of helping the city start dealing with some of their instability. Dennis Roberts works for the Land Bank, a major property owner here. One of the biggest challenges that we have in this city is a lack of resources and a lack of hope. We've told you about the Land Bank's plans for 30 acres, a district called Circle East. Part of our strategy from the very beginning was not only to renovate the building, but create a signal that this city is open for investment. By fixing up old homes, building new ones on empty lots, and bringing businesses and developers to this busy street. That's the way the city is going to generate revenue, and that's what's going to lead to amenities, better schools, and essential city services. Dennis says the sale of this building should happen by early fall. So how does it feel to get to this point? It feels good, but the job's not done. Because the broader plan could take five years or more to achieve. I'm excited. I'm ecstatic. Neighbors like Dante are watching every move. I've been in my house 20 years, so I'm shooting for Another 20 and another 20 if possible. He says this corner of the city has plenty to offer. Come to Circle East, you know, I I'm here. You know, we're here. We're waiting on you. In a place where changing the landscape also means changing the outlook. In East Cleveland, I'm Michelle Jarbo, News 5. East Cleveland Mayor Brandon King not available for an on-camera interview today, but in an email he told us this project is just the beginning of the city's revitalization. The Land Bank says the first new homes We'll start going up at Circle East in the fall.